morning. It's about 6.30 a.m. right now, so I'm a bit tired. Um, but today, I'm gonna do the Tommy Simpson Memorial Ride, which is a reliability trial. So, for those of you that don't know and aren't familiar with reliability trials, they're organized bike rides um, in which you're challenged to compete, complete a course um, passing through various checkpoints uh, within a sort of predetermined uh, time limit and in the UK every sort of cycling club worth its salt has a reliability trial usually in the winter time and they're a sort of a, a, a long held tradition within British cycling clubs so today I'm going to go do the Tommy Simpson Memorial reliability ride which starts in Harworth um, which is Tommy Simpson's hometown, and uh, and yeah, show you it. It's it's famously quite a bit of a tear up. <laughs> I've done it before, um, but it's a it's a great event, and uh, it raises money for Tommy Simpson as well, and maintaining his memorial on one one two. So let's go do it. I'm just going to fuel for it. Though. I've just got my pre-made birch muesli that I made last night. So let's smash this down. And my coffee. And, uh, Go do it. There's a guest book here in the Tommy Simpson Memorial little mini museum. And we've got Bradley Wiggins on there to sign it, and uh, Russ Downing, and uh, Adam Blythe, whose handwriting is rubbish. <laughs> What are you looking for today? What are you expecting it to be like? Uh, probably a bit of cramp down the trench, <laughs> limping back. It's oh, usually the standard. Tearing it up. <laughs> oh man, I just can't believe how many people there are. Three loads. Hello. Yeah, how's it going, Dean? It's all right, yeah. What a turnout. You been? It's I swear, this is like more people every year come. I think so, yeah. Um, no bike for me this year, but I've just been uh, just been out in the team car with Chris Sidwell, who's one of the co-organisers. Like, oh, is he organising it now? Yeah, so he organises it with Dave Marsh and the Memorial Fund, so yeah. they're in control of that. They have been for a long time. So, yeah, I went out in the, in the holds of team car with him and with Joanne Simpson's uh, partner. So we, we watched Joanne uh, fly past a few times when she was getting looked after by the harbour. Um, club riders, so that was pretty good. Nice. It's been nice to see lots of different big groups out. Yeah. Um, you know, all like 10, 20 riders. All it was very rarely many riders on their own. How long have you been doing the event? How? When, can you remember how old you were when we did first? I did probably it? did this in would have been like the late nineties or early two thousands when I just went to Belgium or lived in Belgium, and I've probably done it a good uh, probably six or eight times or something over the years. Um, yeah, but not for a few years. <laughs> it's been going a while, yeah. Ah, it's always a good tear up, but it's not a race, right? It's not a race, no. <laughs> I think that's the beauty. The, 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 the funness of it is if the if you get a lot of good riders here, a lot of good amateurs here, they're going down the side of the trend and a group of 20, they're going to want to try and make it hard for each other and stuff like that. And, then if, and if they're at the front, not harming anybody else who's not as fit or not as, um, you know, uh, not as confident on a bike then they just get involved and have a bit of fun don't they yeah but it's not a race exactly yeah yeah it's a good laugh
we caught that group coming through uh, England. And then, uh, you know where that sharp, yep. the, the that sharp right hand bend is? I took off in there. Yeah, I could see, coming, coming to, when we got into Borty, I thought, that looks bare legs, bare arms. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> Just with me. Such a, that's the hardest ride I've had this year so far. It was such a tear up. And going down, uh, I made a bit of a mistake as well. I got dropped, spat. <laughs> we were going down the side of the River Trent and you get really strong like crosswinds down there. And uh, I went to try and reach for my camera to get some footage and um, looked up and the guy in front of me had dropped the wheel and then I had to put my camera back in my pocket and sprint to make the gap and I just couldn't quite close it. And it was awful, that agonizing moment if you've ever had that. So that was the Tommy Simpson Memorial Ride. Um, at the start of the video I said it was a reliability trial because a couple of years ago when I last did it, it was a reliability trial. But this year it was more of a memorial ride because I wasn't timed back in at the end. Uh, but it's still a great event and uh, you know it's, it's loads of fun even though I did get my head kicked in. Uh, <laughs> it's great to see so many sort of riders going out there and honouring the memory of, of uh, Tommy Simpson. And um, once again I apologise for the lack of footage of the actual <laughs> event riding but uh, I did get spat <laughs> trying to get my camera out to film and uh, as I was doing that it all just kicked off so um, I ended up just chewing my stem most of the ride but if you want to see my ride I'll post a link to the Strava uh, page in um, in the description if you want to have a look so there you go uh, but I am however going to be doing a reliability ride on the 18th of March which is put on by the club GS Henley which is a really old cycling club and it's about 90 kilometers long it starts in Henley um, upon Thames so if you fancy it and you can make it then um, I'll see you there, come and say hi, be cool. Uh, but onto the bit you're all been waiting for, competition time, yeah. So this week winner is uh, Matthew Mernin, who wrote a great video as ever, my favorite place to ride has to be Great Dunfell in Cumbria. It's an absolutely amazing road up with unbelievable views and some ridiculous gradients along the way. And the last time I was there, I ended up getting nearly hospitalized with hyperthermia. As it was slashing it down, I mean, that's a great adjective. You win just for that. <laughs> slashing it down the whole ride. And I only had a t-shirt on. I checked my Garmin when I got home and the temperature at the top was minus four. So it was hardly surprising I got hypothermia, but it was nothing that couldn't be sorted out with half an hour in the pub and a log fire and a coffee. I got home and the way I described it to everyone, they thought I'd hated it, but they just don't understand. It was one of the best rides I've ever done. Well, I really like that comment and hopefully with a jersey, maybe you won't get hypothermia instead of wearing a t-shirt. But um, it's also inspired my next question for next week's prize, which is to win another Cycling Weekly jersey. Um, to begin with the chance to win the jersey, all you have to do is subscribe to the Cycling Weekly channel, that's important, and um, comment below about the most hardcore weather you've ever ridden in. As cyclists, we love telling war stories about hardcore weather we've ridden in, and I love hearing them. So to give you an idea, I'll give an example. I think my time is when I was once riding down the Stelvio Pass in Italy, it was raining, it was naught degrees or one degrees, and I got exposure and ended up only making it halfway down the descent and had to go into like a little random house halfway down to stop myself from dying. Um, <laughs> it was just really funny. But um, I only had a summer jersey on. <laughs> that was it. it was sunny on the other side. But uh, I want to hear uh, your war stories and just comment with them below. But until then, I'll see you next Monday.